Hi everybody, if you don't already know who I am, I'm Carissa. I'm an American currently living in Brazil. So I wanted to talk a little bit about what has been happening this last year because I haven't talked a whole lot about it publicly. So last March, I was speaking with my pastors down here and um, we were talking about the religious visa that I had applied for and um, I just really felt like I was an uphill struggle just all the time and as soon as I decided to drop that process I had so much peace I just knew that it was the right thing to do so then we were talking about the next thing the direction I needed to head in they were like why don't you teach English and I have always wanted to teach I just never really knew how that would play out so in praying about it, I really felt like that was the direction I needed to go. So everything kind of shifted from being so like ministry focused to teaching English. It's been a really, really good experience. So now I'm looking at doing the work visa. It's definitely not an easy process and it takes a lot of faith and patience and knowing that like I'm secure in what I believe that the Lord has told me and I don't doubt it, I don't question it and it's just waiting for the timing and the right people to step in and everything to like fall into place. So along with that, like living down here, I think Brazilians always ask me, why does an American want to live here when like it's America that they see on TV, you know? And then like when I'm in the States, people get like, oh my gosh, you live in Brazil, like how lucky are you? It's all beaches and palm trees and it's definitely not, I spend most of my time in my apartment um, I go to the beach maybe like once in three months, maybe twice. So if you do see me post pictures, uh, I'm definitely not like living on the beach, even though I would love to be a beach bum. I'm always real cautious to post stuff about it because I don't want people to think that I'm just like on a vacation down here. So as far as the church goes, I started the church in 2015 and I was here for that first service. Um, so it's been really, really awesome to see that we're now in a new building and I've been helping out with the kids ministry and getting to see it grow and expand and new people come in and help has been really, really awesome. So I love the pastors down here, I love the church. I believe in uh, their apologetic ministry and heart and what they want to do in the community. And a part of that is a kid's home, which is what's really been on my heart since the Lord called me to Brazil in 2009. That's kind of like what I'm waiting to see happen is this, this home open up. And so I'm trying to figure out, like, I know that I'm supposed to be here and I don't want to be gone for very long when I am in the States. And a part of that is because I don't want there to ever be a disconnection with me and the Brazilians here and being connected with this church. And so a part of that biding my time, if you will, is getting a job. I have an apartment now, getting acclimated, you know, being involved in the community and stuff. So as far as the culture goes, it is different. Life here isn't, like, the easiest. We don't have you know, the Walmarts and the Amazon Prime and like the easy, you know, quick access stuff. So it's just, it's different. Everything takes like more effort, more time, but I also love this kind of lifestyle of, of just being so much more chill and like Brazilians aren't like worried about rushing around and stuff. So that's really nice. But there are conveniences that, you know, are not the same. Like sometimes my electricity goes out for no reason or I don't have air conditioning in my house, but it's constantly 80 degrees and 100% humidity. You definitely appreciate when you're back in the States, and if anyone has traveled for long periods of time or lived in another country, they understand. Like when you go back to the States, you're so much more grateful for the little things. So anyways, this has been a long time coming. I have been coming down here for five years and I just want to be permanent down here. I know that um, it's the next stage in my life and what I need to do with the call of God um, is for me. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'm always happy to answer questions, whatever they may be. And thank you for your support. You're in this with me and it helps me not feel so alone as like the only American here. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. Bye.